Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual. It seems the cryptocurrency market is starting to show signs of life again and Twitter does not seem to be as toxic as it was about a week and a half ago. If you want to go down the board here, last seven days, every cryptocurrency pretty much up 10% except for a few outliers. Most importantly though, Bitcoin barreling back into the mid $40,000 range. So guys, this is going to be kind of a long video. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, 2022 has just started and I'm going to lay out my game plan, the million dollar game plan for this year, which is what exactly what I think is going to happen in the year 2022. Now, XRP has not hit all time high in four years, okay, four years, if we want to get really, really specific, we go this top candle right here to now 1,484 days, okay, <laughs> this thing is long overdue for an all-time high break, it has to happen because this last year has not been a waste of time. This whole last year for XRP, it's it has not been a waste of time. We have slowly but surely, you know, taken down one by one every resistance created by the 2018 bear market. It like this whole last year has not been a failure. I know everyone likes to compare XRP to you know, every single shit coin that's come out from the Binance or Ethereum network and compare it to, oh, look, this did this this year, but XRP only did this. But yeah, you got to understand, though, you know, XRP is not that quick pump and dump mindset. We are looking for, you know, years and years to come of repeating cycles and growing liquidity and changing the world and, you know, signing on all of these world's billion dollar banks to use XRP as a liquidity tool to advance global commerce. We are the most sophisticated cryptocurrency project in the space. But that's not what this video is about today. The, the video is not about like really, okay, all the, you know, fundamental aspects that we know about the XRP ledger. Like I don't need to explain why you guys understand why XRP is great. I don't need to talk about it. What I want to focus on in today's video is strictly the technicals. Okay. XRP is so long overdue for a pump. So basically, the bear market essentially has ended. Okay, this was the whole bear market right here. It was the $3.30 top all the way down to, my God, 10 cents a coin. Um, I was panicking down here for sure. Uh, I was like, I think about to sell my bags down here. I but I just I told myself I'm like, dude, no. If the market's making you feel like this, this is not the right way. So the bear market, it's done. It's complete. Everything that's happened from this point forward has been progress leading up to the all-time high break. Okay, so don't just look at this, you know, this whole screen and be like, oh my God, this is all bear market. No, no, that's the, what the very amateur people are thinking. Look at it for really what it is. It's the, you know, bear market breaking down all of the support, right? Coming back down for the, you know, weekly double bottom, right? Again, don't forget this bear market ended on a fucking weekly double bottom with bullish confirmation. Okay, the bear market's over. So don't just look at this whole thing and think, oh my God, this is all one bear market. XRP's not pumping like all the other coins. So I understand it's been like four years since XRP has touched all time high, but for a little under than like half of that time, it has been the progress leading to all time high, creating the foundation to run to all time high. So again, all this, not just, oh my God, this is all bear market. XRP is never going to pump again. No, 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 no. This was the destruction, the capitulation, and this is building up to price discovery. That's why that's how you look at this chart. Divide it into two paths. Capitulation bear market, then breaking down every resistance created by the bear market 
to lead us to all time high. So notice how back here, weekly double bottom, bam, thousand percent moves. Got the same thing right here. Weekly double bottom, thousand percent moves. Okay, guys, this is the 2022 XRP million dollar game plan. Let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Here is how I see this year playing out. And again, I know I've been wrong a lot, but there have been some times I do really nail some things. But again, majority of the time, look, I am wrong. But again, just a random kid on the internet. But I do got a lot of experience in this market. I've been holding since back here. I wish I was holding since back here. I looked at XRP back here, but didn't buy. But I bought it like about right here, I want to say. All right. Here's the game plan, guys. As you guys know, I sound like a broken record. Yes, the 60 cent iron wall. Yeah, whatever. Okay, huge resistance created by the bear market. We've conquered it. it you know, this, this level canceled five to six pumps. Now we're above that level. Okay, so currently what is happening right now, and I'm not, I'm not saying like, oh, there's a chance this is going to happen. This is the part that I 100% believe is going to happen. It has to go for the W. The market loves the M's and W's. They always happen. Um, they're fucking everywhere. Okay. Like the, the, the M's and W's, it's going to love. So right here, it's it's got to go for the W because right now, you know, here was the break and retest. And then now here is the coming back to the demand zone. And look at that already on the weekly chart, which closes in about 23 hours. You already have the bullish engulfing confirmation. And prior to that was the rejection of the sellers. Just like back here, rejection of the sellers, bullish engulfing. Rejection of the sellers, bullish engulfing. So I wholeheartedly believe the XRP, it, it has to. And again, don't like look at this line specifically and go like, oh my God, this is going to happen on this date. No, this is just for like perspective. Because of course, the W could end up being like, you know, this. But I might just be kind of drawing it like this for perspective, right? So I don't really focus too much on where this is on the vertical scale. But this W has to happen. Okay, like guys, like please, like we, we got it. I like, I think this is probably one of the videos of mine where... I think we might want to take it a little bit seriously. Like I know I have, you know, kind of hypey price videos in the past, especially like back here, back here. And then when I uh, went to Korea and stuff, but like, dude, this one, dude, this shit is going to happen. There's no doubt about this. This is the fucking million dollar game plan. Okay. This is it. This is our time. It's been 40 years. Every coin is tripled all time high XRP laggard because of the bullshit scam. SEC lawsuit, okay? The planned coordinated attack on the XRP community in which we bounced back from and went thousands of percent. So from the technical side, we have to go for this W. We're going to get this W and we are going to approach this level. Like I'm telling you, I can't, you know, guarantee you 100% an all-time high, even though that's what I think is going to happen, but I guarantee you XRP is going to go back to, to the supply zone. This is the supply zone, XRP, it's, it's going to do this, okay? It's going to have to do this. It does not have a choice. The market's going to move in the direction where it can find the most liquidity. Right here, you got this gap right here, which is just pullback, like drop, 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 with no significant pullback. Then here, drop, drop, no real pullback, drop, no real pullback. This whole thing is a gap right there. The market's got to fill it. The market will always move to the areas where it can find liquidity, and like all up in here is stop loss, stop loss, stop loss. You know, XRP bears, they're winning right now, but stop loss, stop loss, stop loss, stop loss. Like there's stop losses all up in there. Okay, sorry for the dollar sign spam, but you get what I mean. There's stop losses all up in there. They're going to hunt that liquidity and then they're going to get back to the supply zone. Once we're up at the supply zone, of course, something, I don't know how deep, but something like this is going to happen. It's going to go for the pullback. And then maybe a little bit of a, a little fake out rally, drop us lower, scare some people out, go for some wicking, and then break this supply zone. The key we're looking for here, guys, the only thing stopping us, the only thing between us and your XRP bags being worth millions of dollars is one supply zone. Guys, please spread this all over social media, Twitter, whatnot. The only thing standing between us and a million dollar XRP bag is one supply zone. 
It's one supply. So, I mean, sure, you could call this, uh, you know, supply as well, but really, this is the major supply zone stopping us from all-time high. And here's the thing. The all-time high zone, like, I don't consider this resistance. I don't consider this supply. I know from a technical aspect, like you talk to a day trader or a future trader, and you go, like, oh my God, yeah, that's supply out there. But the way cryptocurrency works is that once you have the momentum and you're going here, dude, like this is not a resistance. Like there's just so much hype, euphoria, leverage trading, people YOLOing in all their money they have. Like it's not even really a resistance because for example, back here, Okay, XRP made the all-time high of 40 cents, crashed down to 12 cents. Oh my God, everyone thinks it's the bear market. It's all over. It's all over. And then what happens? It builds up to it. Did XRP see any resistance at this all-time high? Look, okay. This is an all-time high for XRP at one point. <laughs> Was there any resistance? No. Slice like slice through it like butter because of the euphoria. Because of the way cryptocurrency market worked. Now, maybe like in the stock market commodities, you know, gold, silver, this would be a different case scenario, but cryptocurrency is its own beast, okay? This was another old all-time high for XRP, okay? This level right here, this zone. Now, this time, like, it actually did, you know, it did sell off, it did have a battle, but at the end of the day, this wasn't like some... What I'm trying to say here is, like, it didn't go to the all-time high... And then do like, you know, like this. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not going all the time doing this. It is chopping right through like butter. Okay. Goes straight up to it. Okay. Goes for the steep pullback. But then immediately after the pullback, butter. Like nothing was ever there. Okay. So every all-time high in XRP history, it has been sliced through like butter because of the momentum and the euphoria. Another example back here. I know this is like some really, really low liquidity days of XRP, but that was the all-time high at one point. Approaches all-time high level, slices through it. Yeah, did it have a pullback? Totally got scammed out because no liquidity. But dude, after that, straight butter. So guys, please, please spread this like wildfire on social media. I'm telling you, this is the XRP 2022 game plan. We have been seriously waiting for this for a fucking long time. But guys, it's got to happen this year. This year has got to be it. It's one supply zone. Like, just guys, help me spread this as much as you can on XRP Twitter. There's one fucking supply zone, okay? And, you know, maybe you could technically say, okay, we got a little supply trend line. I don't know. I don't focus on trend lines too much. I don't really trust them. Maybe on, like, the 5, 15-minute chart. But, dude, there is one supply zone. And if we crack that level, that's going to be the one that does it. That's going to be the one that does it. Like, I am getting goosebumps just talking about this right now because we've been waiting for such a long time. But just like the XRP holders that were waiting for years and years and years back here, what did they see after they persevered? Retirement gains. Now, all the people who stacked into this zone right here okay or actually more importantly right here and here we've been waiting for a long ass time but then what's gonna be the next part of the cycle what are these holders going to see that persevered yes exactly so guys i don't know exactly what price this is going to go to this is not a price prediction video i don't know exactly but all i know is again, guys, sp make this a fucking hashtag or something on Twitter. There is one supply zone stopping us from that million dollar XRP bag. Because once we get to here, this is not going to be a resistance. This is going to be butter. Okay. This right here is going to be the real resistance. That's going to be butter. There is one thing between us and this. Guys. Thanks so much for tuning the video today. I would appreciate it. Make sure you smash the like, subscribe, check the links in the description if you do support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.